there was a guard by the name of Officer Woodward. This guard was the type of guard that was cool with all the inmates. He wouldn't trip like the other guards. He would give us convicts a little wiggle room. Like I said, he was real cool. Y'all want to know what he got for his coolness? A lock in his sock with his front teeth knocked out. Y'all know that saying, you can do a million things for somebody. As soon as you tell them no one time, it's over. There was a dirt bag inmate by the name of Tobias Jones. He was serving a seven year sentence for aggravated assault. He was out there beating up prior exes and stalking his exes. You know, y'all know the type out there that just can't let it go. You know the type that'll buck on a woman real fast, but when a man apply that pressure on them, they fold real fast. Yeah, that's him. That's Tobias Jones. See, on Saturday, lockdown was at 9 p.m., so he'll let us rock out for an extra 30 minutes. So 9.30, 10 o'clock, we have to get locked down. He was showing us some love. So dude start programming off of that. So dirtbag Tobias ended up renting a cell phone from another inmate. Being this Saturday, it was perfect for him to have the phone to 9.30. Remember y'all, this is prison. There's a reason why that it must be structure. If there's no order in prison, chaos will reign supreme. And well, since Officer Woodward started messing up the program by allowing us inmates to get an extra 30 minutes out before lockdown, I guess he got what was coming to him. Now, I told y'all earlier, Tobias paid for a cell phone. His rental time was 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Again, y'all, he was going off of when Officer Woodward was letting us stay out to 9.30. So when Tobias heard Officer Woodward say, lock it down, lock it down, that was a big problem for Tobias because it was only 8.50 p.m. If y'all know how to do the math, Tobias only had the phone for 20 minutes when he paid for a whole hour. And yeah, that was a problem because the dude that Tobias rented the phone for wasn't going to want to hear none of that at all. Time to give me that phone, man. So Tobias walked up to Officer Woodward and was like, yo, we really got a lockdown at 9? Officer Woodward was like, bro, yeah, y'all got to lock down. I got a lot of paperwork to do. Y'all got to lock down. Tobias was like, dang, bro, that's some BS, man. Why we got to lock up for, man? Why you trying to change stuff up? Officer Woodward now, he kind of irritated. He like, I ain't got to explain nothing to you, man. Go lock up, man. Tobias now standing three feet away from Officer Woodward and standing there like he want to pop off on him. Now, I seen this situation unfolding, so I walked over there and got in between both of them like this. I came over there to calm the situation down. I was like, Tobias, come on, bro. Let it go, homie. He was like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. What were acting like a bee, bro? Nah, man. He acting like a bee, a straight up bee. I'm like, nah, man. Come on, man. We Let's let's just lock up, man. Let's go, man. He like, nah, man. Nah, I, I ain't locking up, nah. I ain't locking up, man. For real. I'm not locking up, man. He now, he said, he up there want to act brand new, man. No, man. I'm not locking up. See, he didn't want to lock up because he wanted to stay on that phone. Now, he was making the situation even more crazier. So, Officer Wood was like, hey, check this out, man. You going to lock down. It's 856. You got four more minutes. Then he turned his back and was like, hey, y'all, four more minutes for lockdown. Four more minutes for lockdown. So you got dudes going here, going there, dudes hurrying up at the microwave, getting their noodles, dudes exchanging commissary. Now the temperature in the pod, y'all, was getting hot. Now other inmates see Tobias talking this trash, so they start getting in on it like, dang, what, what, man, we got to lock down, man? Man, I ain't locking down neither. Nope, nope, you should have never changed it. Nope, so they giving Officer Woodward a hard time. I can only imagine what Officer Wood were thinking about. He probably thinking, man, these dang animals. I done showed these dudes all this love, all these Saturdays, letting these dudes rock out to 9, 30, 10 o'clock. The moment I tell them that they got a lockdown, they want to act out, they want to trip on me. All right, I'm going to treat them just like who they are, animals. I give y'all an inch, and y'all want to take a mile, then y'all want to disrespect me? All right, all right. Officer Woodward and Tobias are now in a full-blown shouting match. Me seeing that I can't calm the situation down, I fade to black. Now at this point, Tobias done got up in Officer Woodward's face. 
Officer Woodward was like, you got to the count of three to get out my face. Woodward began counting. One, Tobias was like, two. Woodward was like, put your hands behind your back, cuff up. Tobias jabbed Officer Woodward and they got the rubbing right there in the middle of the pie. Now, Officer Woodward partner, I'm assuming, was in the bathroom because he was nowhere to be found. He was probably taking a dump from eating all them enchiladas that I seen him eating earlier. Yeah, I seen him eating because I was hungry. Now, y'all, Officer Woodward was getting the best of Tobias. At this point, Tobias was getting choked out on the floor. Now, Tobias got a homeboy by the name of L. Dub. He watching this go down. So y'all want to know what he do? Dudes looking like, man, that's messed up, man. Why y'all doing him like that? Y'all doing him dirty. Y'all, they doing Officer Woodward bad. So when he hit Officer Woodward, like, boom, and his teeth went that way and blood went that way, Officer Woodward just <laughs> fell back. L. Dub got to hitting him in the face with the lock, like, boom, boom, boom. Tobias now catching his breath. Now he up. Now he stomping on Officer Woodward's face also. It was brutal. They did him bad. His partner now coming into the pot, see what's going on, and he instantly get on the walkie-talkie. He's screaming for backup. They now turn their attention on him now, but he hurry up and dip in the control booth. About 40 seconds to go by. Now they just pacing around in the pot because they know they messed up. They know the goon squad is on their way. I'm going to spare y'all the details. Psych, I'm about to give y'all all the tea. It's about to get crazy. When I was in my cell, I told my new celly, take your shirt off like this. Wet your shirt up and put it around your mouth and in your nose like this. Because when they come in here spraying that mace and that bear spray or whatever they got, this is like a respirator, right? Just like that, because I got asthma. I can't breathe. If I get hit with that mace or that bear spray, it'll mess up my respiratory system. And he had asthma too. So that's a tip for you dudes that get mace or any of you dudes that might find yourself locked up. If they come in there spraying that stuff, take your shirt off like I just did, wet it up, and put it around your face like this, your face and nose. So my bunkie go over there and cut the water on. Well, at least he thought he was cutting the water on. They cut the water off. Apparently, they cut the water off because the last time the goon squad came in our pod to break up a fight, we all end up flooding the tear. Y'all wondering, why did y'all flood the tear? So that way they couldn't use their tasers or their riot shields because their riot shields had electric charges on them. So the door swung open. The goon squads was their full tactical. They instantly run over there to Tobias and his homeboy and stretch them out. Y'all should have seen L. Dub. He running like this, trying to get away from this goon squad. Let's see, you know, one of these guards come with the black billy club, like, boom! Hit him in the back of his head. Dude was like, bam! When L. Dub hit the floor, they did L. Dub dirty. I'm talking about fist to face, foot to ass. Rib shots, the whole nine. I'm talking about Tobias and L Dub got ripped out after about three minutes of a total beatdown. L Dub and Tobias was hard tied and led up out of the pod. Officer Woodward was rushed out of the prison and sent to a local hospital. Officer Woodward never returned back to the prison. Tobias and L Dub, when they got back there to the hole, the guards was back there doing them dirty. They stripped them both butt booty naked. Didn't get them no pillow. Didn't get them no blanket. When they gave them their food, I'm going to tell y'all what type of food they was giving them. All you prison dudes out there that been in the hole, y'all know what a food loaf is, right? Y'all know what a food loaf is. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all what a food loaf look like. It's right here. This thing right here, disgusting. They put all, all the prior food that the prison didn't eat for the last week together, and they stuff it together. They 
put this thing together and it is so disgusting, man. Very disgusting. And this is what they have to eat. Let me tell y'all something. These guards do not play no type of games. If you assault one of these officers, you think that it's going to let it go? You think that they homeboys? Some of these, some of these officers, right, are family. So you think they was going to let that ride? Mm-mm. And let me tell y'all something. No, Officer Woodward was not related to none of these officers, but they was real close. And they, they wasn't feeling what Tobias and L-Dub did to him, man. When I say they tortured them too, they tortured them. I don't know if I should really tell y'all this. Y'all look up the case. Tobias ended up committing an act. Y'all know I talk about God a lot, right? He ended up doing self, he ended up doing something to himself that is unforgivable. He couldn't take the abuse no more. He couldn't take the torture that the guards was administrating on him. And I know, I know y'all, I know Tobias, he started this whole problem. He started this whole issue. If he would have never popped off on Officer Woodward, he would not be back here. But how much can you dish out a punishment and torture a man? Well, anyway, I'm going to let y'all know what happened. One of these guards, knowing that Tobias Psychological was breaking down, ended up coming over there right to the cell with a <laughs> razor, put the razor under the door. And well, two days later, they found Tobias unresponsive, dead, DOA, dead on arrival, spread out on the floor. When the guards discovered his body, they was like, good riddance, another dead inmate, another dead roach. The Dante Show 